So, you want movement in your videos, but you're stuck filming on a tripod. That's okay, because you can always track yourself like this. Or maybe you want the graphics or music in your videos to ease in, but just don't know how. Well, don't worry, because today is day two of editing week, and today we're going to be talking keyframe. This is easily the most implemented editing technique that all creators use in their videos. I mean, it's so simple, but with creativity, the sky is really the limit. And as we know, you cannot run without first learning how to walk so for those that don't even know what a keyframe is it's essentially used to create any type of animation in your videos it could be as simple as one clip fading into another or as cool and complex as an animation like this now i edit in premiere pro but the same rules will apply if you're editing in CapCut, final cut pro davinci resolve or really any other editing app first to achieve something as simple as a smooth zoom first want to select your clip and drag your playhead where you want your animation to to start with your clip selected you will see a diamond in the effects tab and clicking this will set the endpoint for your animation next you want to scrub the playhead to where you want the animation to stop and here you want to rescale your footage to your desired zoom now as you probably noticed a keyframe will appear as soon as you change your settings so you don't actually need to press the keyframe out button but just like that you have yourself a smooth zoom now if i'm being real this looks a little unrealistic and choppy so if you want to fix that and make it a bit smoother all you have to do is select both sides of your keyframe right click and then select ease in this does exactly what it sounds like and eases in your keyframe so it doesn't all come in at the same speed that technique right there is the same that you would use if you wanted to do a simple motion track and i call it a simple motion track because it only takes a few steps to achieve for this one the only difference is resizing your video every few frames and trying your best to keep your subject or whatever you want to track centered spending a few extra minutes to perfect this will get you a very clean look and make your video much more engaging now to move on to a slightly more advanced effect like this you'll first want to find a picture and download it or take your own and if this photo isn't a proper png and has a white background you will want to remove that in an app like photo room or canva i personally use photoshop but that's only because what i'm used to now it's time to add your photo with no background into your timeline and what i prefer to do when doing a pop-in animation is first drag my playhead where i want my animation to finish and here's where i'll resize the image to where i want the animation to finish at then of course activate our first keyframe in the position and scale area which although it is our first keyframe is technically our keyframe out now just bring the playhead to where you want the animation to start and rescale your image until you cannot see it anymore that's all you have to do but like i said earlier it still does just look a little unrealistic so what i prefer doing in this case is following these same exact step but first putting the transform effect in premiere on my clip i then use the same exact settings for my animation set the shutter angle to 360 and of course ease in my keyframes for a nice smooth look and like that you'll get a little bit of motion blur and something that looks like this which in my opinion for the little bit of time it took me to do turned out absolutely amazing there are honestly so many great things that you guys can do with keyframes of course after you learn the basics it's all up to your creativity and i would love for you guys to tag me in any of your videos where you're trying new creative technique with these keyframes and of course if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments below if you enjoyed make sure to follow and share this video with a friend because tomorrow we'll be back with day three of editing week.